I were a boss, Simone. You're watching Sick Radical. <laughs> to Lisbon. Um, I know already you're a fanatic for architecture, so tell me what do you think of the city so far? Well, in addition to being a fanatic for architecture, I'm also a tile fanatic, so the fact that the architecture is covered in tiles is a little bit too much for me, but it's so beautiful that I can't stop saying, oh my god, that's so beautiful, but every three seconds. So. <laughs> and they told us that in Braga, where we were yesterday, that the light here is different, that it's sort of white, and it really is different. I've never, it's I mean, I know it's especially foggy today, but it's really amazing here. It just makes, sort of sets this really amazing light for all of everything we can view. <laughs> it's very beautiful here. And what about all this environment and this, like, just view for the river? What do you think of it? Well, we only saw the fog. <laughs> <laughs> we can sense there's something really amazing out there. We just don't know what it is. It's very mysterious. Uh, Erica is staying in Portugal, so she'll uh, in Lisbon for a few days so she can investigate it I'll and take pictures and there. tell us all about it. Once the fog lifts, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so touring, all these tourings, all these festivals, a lot of uh, the Belgian oh. festivals, this touring with air. Tell me a bit about it. It's really exciting. I think it's one of the most exciting things that we've ever done is to play in this band and to be friends with each other and meet all these new people all over the world and see all these amazing examples of architecture. And so it's just exciting. And Air is the, are the sweetest guys ever. So Their shows were so amazing. They're just they're one of the few bands probably that have a lot more keyboards on stage than we do. So it was really um so fun to just look at their setup and play with their keyboards and watch them and learn from them and it's really cool. What, what do you think of a, this sold out show? Uh, I'm so excited! What a Me warm too. welcome! It's so unexpected. I know, it's really amazing to go to somewhere that you've never been before and then have the venue be sold out. It's really incredible it, and it's, I don't know. What a lovely warm welcome. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. I'm so happy. I'm sort of smiling so hard I'm going into the laughter zone. I guess you are too, so that's cool. <laughs> There's people everywhere. I know, aren't they awesome? Stairs. Oh my god, I love you guys. <laughs> I always wonder how people find out about us. I know, we've had a few experiences like that in this past month. Like we went to Helsinki and then also um, we were in Istanbul and just really discovering that we have fans in these places we've never been has been really amazing. It's funny because uh, two weeks ago, David Lynch was here. Oh. So he, so he, and we had we had the European Film Festival uh, two weeks ago and mm. everyone was talking about Le Revoir Simon. No! What? No, no, what did they say? You know, it's, it's David Lynch's band, come on. David Lynch's band? I had a dream about him last night. You this did? This is my dream. He started another band with all these girls playing keyboards. And, uh, and I was he like, stole our idea. He was a really good singer in my dream. <laughs> he does play guitar. Yeah, he is a musician. Oh, maybe it was a dream. <laughs> so girls, tell me a bit this album and how is it doing it for you? Oh, this album? Um, it's been great. I mean, it's been a really good album cycle. We worked on it for about a year. We, were, we wrote it and recorded it and, um, and then it's just been really fun to travel around and have people know our songs and um, be able to also to experiment with them and play them in different ways and just and we're really looking forward to writing our next album which we're going to do right when we get home from this tour so we have a bunch of time set out and um, looking for a producer or some <laughs> to, trying to put all the pieces together but we're really excited about it. I think this is a really tough question I have for you. I read today, <laughs> I, um, I was reading the Pitchfork, the reviews. How do you deal with the reviews? Oh, that's a good question. I mean, it's weird because reviews, sometimes you read them and sometimes you don't. 
and sometimes you think it's applicable to your sound and sometimes you, you don't and I think it just depends on the rider and how the rider is feeling that day so you can't take it personally what they say or even if it's good or if it's bad because it's just someone's opinion and what really matters is how we feel about the music and I think we're all really excited to write our next record and have something we're really excited about again so we're sort of just thinking about that at this point. Yeah and with Pitchfork specifically um, those albums just end up on random writers desks they don't say oh I want to write about this album so you know we're not everybody's cup of tea you know and um, so we don't take it personally if someone doesn't like us I mean it's especially if it's a pitchfork, because, mm-hmm. you know, it's like, who knows? They're, they're very know. critical, and we're yeah. totally, I mean, we're very critical as well with music. Like, we have things that we love, and we have things that we don't love, and that's just natural, so. Totally. About the show we're going to see tonight, uh, what should we expect? Keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Um, similar to the album, but different in interesting ways. Charles, okay. <laughs> thank you very much for thank your time. You. Obrigada. Obrigada por ter vindo esta noite.